what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. I'm really excited to show you something. I think um, it's not too difficult, but a really cool concept where you can get out of a rut or keep spicing up things that you already know. We're going to just keep building on top of things, all right? So what I wanted to show you uh, this lesson uh, was a really cool double stop concept. Uh, what a double stop is, is when you play two notes at the same time. Um, so what I was doing there was based off of a G chord. The double stops, uh, the concept I want to show you right now is just based off of um, a major chord. So you can think of it this way. You can think of it as, the, um, as a major bar chord, like a G major bar chord that's got the root on the third fret right here. I bar it. Like that of it that way um, or you can just think of it as the uh, where the root is on the high E string on the third fret for a G right or the fifth fret for an A but let's do this we're gonna do it with um, with a G major chord and here it is if uh, conceptually we see the root here on the high high E okay and then we're gonna take our ring finger and I'm gonna put it uh, on the fifth fret of the B string and those are the only two strings we're going to be strumming for this whole concept. Okay, so that works over a G major chord. So. Um, it doesn't really, when you do that, even though you have the root on top there, it doesn't feel like it's a resolved G when you play that double stop. But I'll show you what I mean. We're going to do that. Then we're going to go up a whole step, same exact thing. Okay, exact same shape, whole steps apart. So since we're in G, it's kind of convenient because I can let the open G ring out so you can get the context of what those notes sound like. Okay, another, the next one, we're gonna slide our ring finger up a half step, but now we're gonna use our middle finger on the seventh fret of the high E. That actually feels more like, the, that, that really is the strongest, that sounds like the resolution. That's actually the, really the, what sounds the most like the G chord. But I want you to visualize where it's coming from, you know, with the root. So now we're going to do something pretty cool because uh, it's the first shape again. So I'm going to slide my ring finger up to the 10th fret on the B string. Now my index finger is going to go on the 8th fret of the high E. And then I'm going to move that up a whole step. And that's all I'm going to show you for this concept because what it enables any G chord because G chords fit in different keys. And so if I went below or above that, it's going to dictate actually what special scale I'm using, but these are in all the scales that fit over the major chord. So once again, we've got a, a G major chord. And then I've got uh, index on the third, ring finger on the fifth of the B. Same thing up a whole step. Ring finger up a half step, middle finger on the seventh fret of the high E. Ring finger up a whole step, index finger on the 8th fret of the high E, and then up a whole step again. So if anyone's ever seen my land of A7, this is kind of like, you could almost consider these little double stops the land of G major. It's going to work um, if one guitar player is playing a G major chord. There's some really cool and creative things that you can you can do with that. Now these double stops also work melodically. So if you have a progression that where G major is the tonal center, like usually the first chord, but a progression like you know G, D, and C. Any of those double steps, you can improvise a whole solo with those. Slash did it a lot. Um, you know, a million, you know, all the great guitar players. 
Um, you know, Jimmy Page, Hendrix, Clapton. I mean, they all use this idea right here. And now I'm passing it on to you, all right? So here's a, just a couple more things. You can do kind of like this, where you strum it really fast, and it's kind of got this almost like a mandolin feel. Um, you could pick the notes individually, like the B, high E, slide down, like. Okay, so that really is a nice little trick that you can try, and if, you know, it's just like anything, you, you're going to have to dig in and, and try it out and see if it works for you. What I want to do right now is I'm going to just play that, you know, a progression, and then I want you to try and play those double stops by jamming with me. I'm just going to play a little, you know, jam track for you to try this stuff real quick. I'm just going to play something in the key of G major and experiment. You don't have to just go through each one. You could skip around like... kind of thing. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to play some chords for you. So try that out. See what you can come up with. Um, it's great when you're playing with another guitar player. Um, you know, that's those little ideas just really can spice up a, a jam. Especially if two guitar players, instead of you guys playing the exact same chord, um, you know, one guy can start, you know, throw little things in like that. And all of a sudden it's like, whoa, these guys, these guys deserve a Grammy. No, I don't know. Anyway, Marty Schwartz, guitarjams.com is the site. Got tons of videos up on the site that are not on YouTube. Really worth checking out. It'll improve your guitar playing a lot. Um, and, and I know that because I'm using all the techniques that I've learned along the way and just giving it to you straight, straight ahead, the shortcuts to everything. So hopefully you can come check that out. We'll see you real soon.